and we have something called as a law of the wall which basically helps a turbulence model so that even with a larger cell you can you can basically run turbulent flow simulations and this is kind of uh, an important point in cfd many students who run who run cfd simulations think that when you use a turbulence model you are accurately capturing turbulence remember that you are using a turbulence model because you don't have any other way especially if you are running simulations for flow over an airfoil or flow over a truck or something like that it is impossible to get that type of a resolution impossible for the next 30 years at least i don't think you will be able to do it so make sure that you understand navier stokes equations and only then you will be able to you know get into cfd and understand it properly so we still haven't explained one thing how do we take our uh, how do we take this partial differential equations and how do we solve it using a computer well that is where the concept of numerical discretization comes into play let us say we take our x momentum equation right so it, in two dimensional in two dimensional view point it's going to look something like this minus do p by do x plus mu times do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square <coughs> so this is your governing equations it's a partial differential equation looks like there's a question how we solve it conventionally without a computer well rushikesh if the pd is simplified right right if the pd is simplified then you can solve it without a computer you can solve it in pen and paper the truth is you cannot solve navier stokes equation completely on a piece of paper if you can do that then you would have solved what is called as a millennium price problem so the navier stokes equation proving that the solution or a unique solution exists for navier stokes equation is a is an unsolved problem it has been unsolved for more than 100 years now so if you are able to solve it you will actually you will literally be given a million dollar in cash for solving it conventionally we can't solve whole navier stokes equation exactly that's that's what i'm talking about so if you take partial differential equation i need to convert this into a form that can be solved using a computer well that is the concept of discretization a partial differential equation is continuous meaning at any point in x this locate this equation is valid and i can if i solve this equation correctly i can actually get u as a function of x comma y comma z comma t at any point this with discretization what you are doing is you can calculate u but it can be calculated only in certain points this certain points is what you call as a mesh so you might have heard of people saying computational mesh right well that is basically a space or a domain in which this partial differential equation is being solved the concept is actually quite simple for example say that you have a function right so i have a function like this f of x so what is df by dx if i know the analytical for example if df if f is x square then what is df by dx maybe actually i'll draw that same function so that it will be easier for me to explain so for example let us say we take the function y you know something like y equal to x square so let us say uh, we take x is equal to 1 right so this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 right so at this point uh, what is the value when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 but what is the value for dy by dx that's going to be 2 right i hope you guys can see it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to approximate this derivative what i'm going to say is well I, my my domain is not continuous i'm just going to have two points so what i'm going to do is i'm going to maybe change the color here i'll take this point and maybe i'll take a point somewhere here right x equal to 2 and then what i'll do is i'll compute the derivative based on these two points so the first thing is when you're doing this the derivative that you're computing is this guy correct so that is what you call as the slope of the curve correct whereas at x equal to 1 the slope is actually like this and this is the approximation approximated slope like how do you do the approximation well you can say that if i calculate y at 2 minus y at 1 divided by x at 2 minus x at 1 what is y of 2 when uh, when x is equal to 2 uh, y is y is x square so that's going to be 4 minus 1 divided by 2 so that's going to be 3 by 2 that is going to be 1.5 so delta y by delta x is going to be 1.5 which is wrong whereas the actual derivative is 2 right so this right here is what you call as numerical derivative and this right here is called as the analytical derivative mm -hmm.